Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Weather with Sim again. I hope you guys are all having a great Friday out there and as well as a great start to your weekend. And today is February 21st, 2025. And in today's forecast, we are going to be talking about a pretty big pattern change that's going to be coming to the United States as we get into the end of this month and even into the beginning of February where we could potentially be seeing another extreme pattern just around the corner as not only could it bring the potential for more big time snowstorms but we could also be seeing a lot of severe weather and the european mall even shows potentially even a tropical storm ongoing in the gulf of america and heading over there into atlantic ocean so we will need to be watching all that as not only will this be an extreme but also a very rare pattern compared to what we would usually see this time of year but before we get into today's forecast, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications, especially if you are new here. And if you haven't seen my spring forecast yet, make sure to go check it out by clicking the link down below in the description, as this will likely be a very active spring even as we get into March. So make sure to stay tuned for that, as we will even have more updates coming on out. So make sure to do that so that we guys don't miss out on any future videos or live streams that we do here on this channel. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up really do appreciate the support from you guys and it really does help spread the word out to everyone and also share this with any friends family or anyone who you know on social media i definitely appreciate it but let's first start off by taking a look at the temperatures this is going to be our most concerning trend from now on as we are still continuing to deal with some pretty cold temperatures across the central and eastern united states for today but as we take this forward we actually start to see a lot of that warm air really start to bubble up across much of the United States with some areas including the northern plains upper midwest even down there towards the southern plains and southwest could experience um, temperatures as high as 30 degrees above average especially where you see those brown colors and as well as those white colors so we will need to be keeping an eye on that as this warm air is just going to to try to push its way on in here but at the same time we will also have some of this cold air trying to roll on through which could potentially set up the stage for maybe a little bit of severe weather because with this cold air coming on in colliding with that warm air it can still set up the stage for severe weather even though that's the opposite way as what we would usually see because usually we would see this warm air move on in from the Gulf of Mexico with that cold air coming in from the Rockies but it turns out it's going to be the completely opposite way which we still can get some pretty big storms firing up but as we get a little bit later this is when it starts to get a little more concerning as not only could we be seeing a much bigger warm up but but as we take this forward again, maybe another big time thunderstorm event developing as we get into the second week of March where we could potentially be seeing more severe storms, like I said, due to how the temperatures are playing out. So we will need to be watching all that and just to show you guys how all of this will play out as those temperatures are really looking to be on the crazy side of things. You guys can see that we will be tracking some chances for rainfall as we get into Thursday of next week and then after that the next concerning storm will be as we get into Wednesday March 5th where we could potentially be seeing severe weather like I said the latest from the European model is really pointing out chances for showers and thunderstorms developing right along the Mississippi River potentially leading to another severe weather event and then after that maybe even another one developing across the lower Ohio Valley and as well as the Dixie the alley region especially so we will need to be watching all that very closely as we get into the end of february and into the beginning of march where we at least have a shot of seeing some pretty big time severe weather events so make sure you are paying attention as I do think this is going to be a very active pattern as we get into the next couple of weeks including a extreme pattern as I do think this will be some pretty intense um, weather just around the corner but at the same time look what happens as we get into February 24th we see a little storm just off, just off the 
coast of the Gulf of America. And look what happens, guys. The storm then rolls on through southern Florida and into the Caribbean. But then look at that. It really starts to strengthen over here in the Atlantic Ocean. Now, keep in mind that this will not be a hurricane but I probably could say there's a slight chance that, that, that this may be a tropical storm, given the fact that the water temperatures are still a little warm. Not super warm, but at least warm enough to where we could potentially be seeing a little bit of hurricane activity over here in the Atlantic Ocean, which once again would be very rare and unusual for this time of year, but definitely on the concerning side of things as those water temperatures are starting to warm up a little bit again and once again it's kind of going to be shaped up like a tropical depression especially but possibly even a low in tropical storm so we will need to be watching this very closely as it is shown on the european model but if i were you i would take that with a grain of salt as i do think this model is kind of overdoing it a little bit so make sure to keep that in mind and then not only will we be doing with that we will also be doing with chances for more snow showers and thunks and snow storms I meant to say snowstorms across the northern United States as we'll have some Alberta clippers rolling on through likely clipping the Great Lakes region especially possibly bringing some heavier snowfall to those areas we could even be seeing another one after another one and maybe even another big snowstorm rolling on through as we get into the beginning of March, guys. I mean, this is just crazy to look at, given the fact that we are already starting to see chances for lots of snowstorms and as well as severe weather already starting to ramp up. So make sure to at least be paying attention, like I said, but obviously take this with a grain of salt still as... Like I said, I think this model is kind of overdoing things a little bit, but if I were you, I would still be paying attention as I am expecting this wire pattern to get a lot worse as we get into the future. So make sure to be paying attention out here, like I said, as I really do think this is going to be pretty extreme as it rolls on through, not only bringing chances for very heavy snowfall across the northern United States, but also bringing chances for some pretty heavy snowfall even over here towards the Rocky Mountains mountains with possibly even some like what we've been doing with lately where we see snow snowstorms heading from the midwest all the way up there into the northeast where we could be seeing once again a similar pattern like what we've been doing with lately where we see those snowstorms start over there in places like Kansas and then work their way all the way up the east coast and into Maine so something like this could be possible as we get into March but once again, still a little too far out to tell, and some of the things are still kind of being overdone a little bit, but I would definitely be paying attention if I were you, as this is definitely going to be an extreme pattern, to say the least, and at the same time, we could also be doing with a lot of flooding issues as well, as some areas, especially across the deep south, Ohio Valley, northeast, mid-Atlantic, could all see anywhere from one to three inches of rainfall, with isolated higher totals being a possibility. Abilities. So if you do live in the Ohio Valley, Midwest, or Deep South, make sure, you, make sure you are watching for flash flooding as much of Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, Virginia, West Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina, Virginia, even down there into places like um, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, all likely to get some pretty good rainfall, especially where you see those red colors. So make sure to be prepared for this extreme pattern as this could also bring some pretty big flooding issues and then the last thing i want to go over is going to be the temperatures in the arctic just to show you guys kind of what's happening up there so i'm going to go ahead and change my region so that way you guys can see a little bit better and we're going to take this to our temperature anomaly and you guys can see that up there in the arctic we could be seeing some areas of cold air trying to strengthen which could potentially bring another round of cold air like i said as we get into march which is why we are going to be tracking those chances 
chances for not only that warm air but also for snowstorms like I said as this is really going to be a very active pattern as it rolls on through including for parts there of Canada that could even experience some warmer temperatures as well so make sure you are paying attention as I do think this is going to be a very crazy pattern as we get into March like I said maybe even a rare pattern developing so now would be the time to keep an eye on this and of course we will even keep you guys up to date with hurricane season as we are only a hundred days out from hurricane season so we will be paying attention to hurricane season as well as that is also going to be another concerning trend this year especially as we do get closer but thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's forecast make sure to subscribe to the channel so that way you guys don't miss out on any future videos or live streams that we do on this channel as things will likely change a lot things could go from a rare pattern all the way back over there to kind of like what we were expecting over the past few days so still expect some things to change but but we will keep you guys up to date with the latest as I do think this will be somewhat a rare and extreme pattern as we get into the end of February and into the beginning of March. And if you haven't checked out my spring forecast yet, make sure to click the video that's pulled up as of right now so that way you guys can get a good idea on also what to expect this spring. And I hope you guys all have a great rest of your Friday out there and as well as a great weekend. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching and goodbye.